Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are finding this. I am Melissa L. Watkins, Evidential Medium and Master Instructor with Integrated Energy Therapy. We are here to do the August general reading. So it's crazy to me that we're already in uh, August. Um, it, it Summer is flying. We're halfway through. So I'm going to start by... Uh, pulling some overarching uh, themes for the month, and then we're going to dive in. So let's get started. I hope you're all doing well out there. I hope that this energy is finding you well. Drink lots of water. Get rest as needed. It is a lot. Yeah, because it is time to come in to this month of having some fun. You know, when you get into joy, when you get into that childlike innocence and playtime, even though you're overwhelmed, even though you don't feel like you have the time for it, or you're, you're, you're striving and driving and you're trying too hard, this is, this is what's needed. This is why things aren't opening up for you. You're not allowing enough of the play, the creative energy to flow through you, the innocence, the quiet, the getting in nature, just anything that really brings you pleasure, eating the foods you like in moderation, everything is okay. Um, you know, um, spending in, in moderation, everything is okay. You know, buying that one thing that you really, really have been wanting, right? Maybe you've been denying yourself because you didn't hit this milestone or there just hasn't been money in the budget for you, right? It. This is a month where it's about leaning into opening your heart to yourself and then you can open your heart to others. But if you're not feeding your spirit, in play, in pleasure, in what you desire at the soul level. If you're denying that all the time, you can't manifest. Because really what you're doing is you're denying the manifestation, right? The energy you're putting out is the energy you're getting back. If you're putting out energy of, I don't deserve, or I have to wait, then that's, that's the energy you're getting back. That's why things aren't showing up. So this is a month to really allow yourself to lean into taking the time to enjoy. Enjoy the sunset. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the time off. Enjoy taking time off. Making sure you take time off. Putting the phone in another room. I've been doing that recently. Like leaving it upstairs and going out in the backyard. I'll get to it when I'm ready, right? I need a minute. I need joy, right? Yeah, because this is a month of beauty. Look at that. And the beauty all around you, the beauty being created by you, the beauty of your spirit shining through. Taking the time to beautify your home, yourself, your space. I actually... Um, put new license plate covers on my car because I didn't like the ones that were put on by the place I bought it from. I was like, well, that looks kind of advertisey and that's not, let's, let's, let's make it me. Right. So I got one with the phase of the moon on it. Little things like that, guys, this is a month to allow you to self the time, the space and the grace to do the little things that just bring you pleasure. Beautify your space. Go through and, and take the time to deep clean your home or reorganize or rearrange or hoe out a room, a closet, anything that's just weighing on you. This is the month to let it go. Let go of the relationship that doesn't serve you. Relation, uh, let go of people who don't honor you. Maybe this is the month that you give people a dose of letting alone. You're not showing up for me. I've got to show up for myself, right? Go to the art gallery. Take the hiking trip. Clean that table off. Get rid of that pile. Defunk your car. 
whatever it is. Because when you do those things in the physical, the non-physical things can show up. It all corresponds. So August is a, is a month to really allow yourself to step into your creativity, your childlike innocence. Of course, you've got to make the money. Of course, you've got to take care of the family. Of course, you've got to have the responsibilities, right? But where are you denying yourself outside of that? Where are you not setting boundaries with people who are not allowing you that? That's a big one, right? All right. All right, August, here we go. Yeah, this is a month to depart the old habits that don't serve you, the old story that doesn't match up with you anymore. And when you don't match up with an old story, there's going to be people and situations that are affected by that. And you have to let people be where they are, which means if they're being critical in judgment, that's okay. Love them, pray for them, but keep moving on. You know, if they have to, if they're very angry, there's nothing you can do when someone is in a emotion that's kind of dictating their lives. All you can do is love them, pray for them, but keep going in the direction that you need to go on. And also departure away from old habits, right? Allow yourself this month to create or lean into new habits or getting back into the your good habits. So whatever the departure is this month, it's away from things that aren't working for you. And I feel like you're not even going to have to think about it. I feel like some of you, these things have already started to remove out of your experience um, for some of you, you've already departed and this is your confirmation that you made the right choice for yourself, right? Yeah, because you're, you're coming out of lack this month. This month is about letting go, departing from lack, departing from any feeling of indifference because indifference can be a mechanism to keep you safe and stable, right? If I'm indifferent to something that's going on, then I don't have to deal with it. I can put it over there. And I feel like this is the month that you have to kind of let go of that, that you're going to have to like step into making a decision because not making a decision is making a decision and that's not going to work this month. The energy is going to push you into making the decision. Yeah, because the wheel of destiny is turning this month. So there's no more being a bystander. There's no more uh, waiting. There's no more letting other people make the decision. This month is all about you walking away from anything that is not in balance with you, is not in harmony with you. So anything that doesn't resonate with you anymore is what is being left behind. So for uh, many of us, it's those ideas of not deserving or not um, speaking up, not asking for what we need. Like this is the month to really step into your power so any way that you've been letting people get away with stuff or um, not respect you or not value you, I feel like that story is ending this month or has ended this, um, is it currently ending or has just ended, right? So for some of you, this is validation that you made the right decision. For some of you, it's like, oh, I've been feeling this coming. 
I'm not saying anything that you haven't in some part of your spirit felt. Maybe not acknowledged, but I feel like this ending isn't going to surprise you. It's just going to be like, oh, okay, it's time. It's time because I'm ready to move on. Spirit is, is showing me the next step. I'm being given an opportunity. I'm being meeting new people, right? And it's taking me on this new journey. And I can't stay in those old stories. I can't stay in those old energies and go in this new direction. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And it's time. It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to have. This is a month for the journey of your soul to continue. So going in the direction that you're being called to go in, whether that's starting something brand new, ending something that just has run its course, getting out of your comfort zone by trying something new, starting something new. Yeah. Because you're just tired. You're tired of the old. And anybody who has not been in balance with you, anybody who's just been taking and taking and taking and taking and taking, they've not been giving. Whatever the situation, whatever the relationship, whatever the person, whatever the... Anything that just has only been taking from you, this is a month where that's not going to be allowed anymore. And you're going to very clearly know what that situation or relationship is. Because it's going to be the one that you're just tired. You're tired of. You're ready for peace. This is a month to come in to your peace. And again, everything starts on the internal. So do you have to shift your thinking or do you have to set a boundary Because it's time for you to have a happy and peaceful and harmonious home. With the people and the situations. For some of you, this is taking a step back from family of origin who don't really understand you. And really creating a home filled with a, a soul tribe. Or really clearing out your home of old Furniture, old clothing, old knickknacks, just really bringing this new energy of who you are now versus who you were a month ago, a day ago, a year ago, 10 years ago, a relationship ago. But I feel like there's, there's, this month is really going to bring you into anything that doesn't bring you peace or happiness or balance is going to be removed or you're going to remove it or it has been removed. And this is now the time for you to come into, yeah, support. This is, look at this, two tens, two tens. This is a month of endings. Wheel of Fortune. This is a month of endings. But in those endings, you're receiving. You're receiving the family. You're receiving the support. You're receiving the money. You're receiving the resource. You're receiving the opportunity. Because that's how you journey into the new direction. By the things that you're now receiving because of your hard work. The endings coming on the back end of you setting the boundaries, putting out the gratitude, leaning into the forgiveness for yourself and others. Like there's been a whole lot of shifts been going on internally and now you're going to start seeing the manifestation in August of the external, the money, the love, the relationships. This eight of wands is things really starting to take off for you this month in a new direction.
believe to receive. Allow it in. Allow it in. All right, what else does Spirit want us to know? Yeah, you're letting go this month. You're letting go. You're letting go of the old story. You're letting go of the old frustration. You're letting go of the old stuff, right? Physical stuff, emotional stuff, mental stuff, energetic stuff. You're letting it go. You're not letting anything hold you back this month. So don't be surprised when you wake up energized to clear out that closet or to um, have that hard conversation, right? Because you're just ready. This energy is just putting you in that space of, I, I, I got I to gotta move on. I got to let go because I'm ready to go in this new direction. I'm excited to go in this new direction. I'm excited to allow the new opportunities and I'm excited to take the new opportunities and, and really explore these new relationships to have harmony and peace in my space, in my life, inside and then creating it in my outside, right? So that's where the gratitude and the forgiveness come in and the compassion and the mercy. Because you're just, there's no space to hold on to it anymore. All that old stuff. Yeah, the stuck energy, it's out of here. You're done. Look at this, letting go and stuck energy. Yeah. And it came in actually upside down. So the energy is starting to move this month. The stuck energy is out of here. Things are going to take off. Things are going to shift. Things are positive is going to come in. So for those of you that have been really frustrated because things have not taken off, things have not worked, phone calls have not come in, this is the month where they, that all shifts. That all shifts. So be prepared. Be prepared for, yeah, the love coming in. Because you're you're done you're done in the fear you're done playing in the fear. You've been practicing surrender, or you're going to start practicing surrender. Because you just feel so different. This fear that's been weighing you down for a long time is being shifted away from you. This energy of August that's coming in is allowing you to step into love, loving yourself and loving others, which is why you're going to be making such dramatic shifts in your life where you're starting to say no, where everybody expected you to say yes, where you're really leaning into your desires, your needs, what you want, not in a selfish way, but in a self-preservation way, where in the past you've given to excess and that's led you to your own negative deficit where you didn't have enough energy for yourself. You couldn't manifest your own resources, your own opportunities, your own relationships because you were doing and being for everyone else so much. And I feel like this energy is what is saying, no more. You're done. And that internal shift that's coming in from your higher self, from your oversoul, that's coming in to say you are important. You do deserve. You are enough. This is what is shifting. And this is what is making all the difference in the external, in your physical reality. So for those of you who are really feeling different and it's maybe scaring you a little or making you feel unnerved, Ask your angels to help you to really lean into and get comfortable with this new version of yourself that is being rebirthed and reborn through your cellular upgrades, your DNA activations. It's going to be a beautiful month, guys. It truly is. Sending you so much love and so many blessings. 
But before we go, I did want to pull some angel guide cards. Uh, so advice. What is the advice, Spirit? What is the advice? Ah, there it is. Cut the cords. Cut the cords. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad at all. It's time. It's time for you to have peace. It's time for you to have harmony. It's time for you to have buoyancy and lightness and joy, playfulness, the ability to lean into your childlike, innocent quality of play and enjoyment. So cut the cords um, to anything this month that is infringing on your peace. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. All right, one more, Spirit. What is the advice for August 2024? Yeah, because it's all divinely guided. Everything that happens this month is divinely guided. Everything that happens every month is divinely guided. But um, for those of you that are really feeling the huge shift in um, big callings this month, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of that, a lot of big callings, really stepping out of your comfort zone. That's what journeying is all about, taking the next step, getting out of your comfort zone. And it is part of the sacred plan. It is divinely guided. So know that you are protected. Because what you're being guided to is for you this month. As in every guidance that you receive so enjoy your month namaste